Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to make galbi. Galbi is Korean barbecue. This is one of my favorite recipes, of course, because I'm Korean. And my father used to make this for me every weekend after I come home from a hard day's work at school. Here are the ingredients you will need. One and a half kilogram fresh short beef ribs. Half cup soy sauce. Quarter cup cooking wine or coke. Quarter cup honey or quarter cup brown sugar. Six cloves fresh garlic. One piece Asian pear. One medium onion cut into four. One tablespoon chopped ginger. Two stalk spring onion. One tablespoon sesame oil. One tablespoon sesame seed. One teaspoon black pepper. First, you need to wash the short ribs with cold water thoroughly. Make sure that you take off the fat and place it into a strainer like this. To trim the fat, use scissors. Fats are not good for your health. This is why you should remove the fats before cooking the meat. Put it in the cold water. <coughs> Soak the ribs to ensure that you remove all the blood from the meat and drain it. Make sure that you drain the ribs properly because there is a lot of blood. Next, you need to peel the skin of the Asian pear. Then, cut into pieces and put it in the blender. Add the garlic, add the onion, add the ginger, add the spring onion. Now, blend the Asian pear with all the ingredients in the blender. Now, you need to start the process of marinating your beef ribs. To do this, get a mixing bowl. In the mixing bowl, add the soy sauce. Add the cooking wine. Optional, you can use Coca-Cola or Sprite. Add quarter cup of honey. Optional, you can also add brown sugar if you do not have honey or if you prefer not to use honey you can use brown sugar instead stir the ingredients so far that you've put into the mixing bowl add teaspoon of black pepper and mix well Add the ingredients from the blender to the mixing bowl. Wow, I can see the color. It's like um, minted ice cream. Now add one teaspoon of sesame oil. Next, add one teaspoon of sesame seed.
and mix well. Now, get a container of some sort and transfer your sauce to that container. Next, we need to wash our hands since we are going to marinate the short beef ribs using our hands. Thoroughly dip your short beef ribs into the sauce and put into the container. The leftover sauce you can now put it into the container. Now marinate the short beef ribs for at least one hour or overnight. For best results and better taste, let it marinate for overnight. But if you don't have time, you can start cooking it after one hour. You can cook it on a grill if you have one outside or you can cook it on a frying pan or you can even broil it. Now you need to put your short beef ribs in the fridge. I have marinated these galbi overnight. In English this is called Korean beef short ribs. So now let's broil them. Turn on your oven in the broil position to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Place your galbi, also known as Korean barbecue short ribs, on the rack. I'm sure this will be really tasty guys. Can't wait to try them out. Especially if you marinated them overnight like I did. You can marinate them for one hour as I stated already but it's always better to marinate them overnight. As they say, patience is the key. This recipe is good for four people. Place in the oven for five minutes on each side. Now that it's five minutes, it's time to turn your galbi to the other side. Mmm, it smells good. Put it back into the oven and let it broil for another five minutes. Now that it's five minutes, you have to check the galbi to see if it's done. Mmm. And I think they are done. Let's have a look. And it's ready to serve. Well, as you can see, the galbi is ready to serve and ready to eat. And as I stated many times before, um, galbi means Korean short beef ribs. Now, you don't have to do this, uh, but you can 
eat your galbi uh, with carrots, uh, with um, cucumber, and with snap peas, and also with rice and the bean sprout. <coughs> uh, bean sprout is called namol in the Korean language and with some lettuce. Uh, lettuce in Korean is called sam. So what I'll show you next is how to wrap all these ingredients up into the lettuce and that's how you eat the galbi. So grab the meat and put it in the lettuce. Then grab some bean sprout. Some vegetables. And some rice. And then you wrap it up. I like to call this like a Korean taco. And voila, you're done. And that's how you eat your galbi with lettuce. By the way, if you want to learn how to make a bean sprout salad, also called namo, watch my other video on my YouTube channel. If you like the YouTube videos that I make for you guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, rate this video, comment on this video, and share this video with others. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.